technology it can make you or destroy you and that is a key difference between the second generation hayabusa and the third Euro 5 and BS6 compliant new and lighter engine components assist and slipper clutch bidirectional quick shift system larger air box better low and mid range power delivery and a more linear power curve which is more usable in the real world then there is the sirs suzuki intelligent ride system six axis imu with cornering abs ride by wire the sdms suzuki drive mode selector which has active basic comfort a b and c modes that can be programmed to select different levels of power 10 levels of traction control, wheelie control and engine braking control. Emergency stop system, launch control, cruise control, anti-lift control, active speed limiter, new TFT analog console, full LED lights, last but not the least, perhaps the best track coefficient on any street legal motorcycle. Born in a wind tunnel. Hmm. And oh, let's not forget the new Brembo Stylema brake calipers because this thing has to stop when you want it to stop. Now even one single link in this complex chain of techno wizardry breaks, you won't lose a few photos on your phone. You could lose your life. Like millions of others, I was also enamored by the Hayabusa since I first saw it in 2003. It has an inexplicably magnetic aura, which resonates with our deepest desires as a motorcyclist and who we want to be. Fast as a falcon, sturdy as a rock, while the ocean of time, space, humanity, and machines flow past and around it. An extension of our fragile yet marvel of a human body, almost that our nerves and the Hayabusa's wires intertwining in another dimension of motor space, giving birth to the perfect motor sapien. For many, a dog is no longer a man's only best friend. A machine, like the Hayabusa, is too. Deriving its name from the planet Earth's fastest creature, it tugs us at a subliminal level. bathing our brain in a cauldron of dopamine and a hope that we will be able to escape the world's ills and prejudices after all who doesn't want a reliable powerful ally that can take us across continents and outrun most machines on the planet with elan and grace the black mirror hayabusa theme was also inspired from an ninja h2 having the two machines together in any garage is a momentous occasion I'm sure Michio Suzuki and Kawasaki Sozo will be drinking to this finally in the heavens. The responsibility which comes while piloting the Hayabusa is immense, especially when it can be so deceptive as to distort your perception of speed. The stability is such. I also had the privilege of owning the second generation Hayabusa, which was pretty bare bones electronically, with just the ABS thrown in. And before bidding adieu to it after 6 years in 2020 in anticipation of the new Hayabusa I had also gotten that done in black chrome The black mirror concept accentuates the fact that you can look at your own reflection on the bike once you get off it and look at it much like when you switch off your phone screen It also reminds you that a lot of the bike is now dependent on the electrons flowing through the plethora of its wires, allowing the various systems to sync and react in perfect harmony. From the riding modes to the quick shifter to that fuel injection system sprinkling processed black gold while the crank rotates furiously. Even the slightest failure in one of these can lead you to lose your life and cross over to the netherworld.